Well, hello and welcome. We're going to look at a couple of stories today. The first one that I'd like to look at is this, and this is something that we covered on the Lockhart Perspective several months ago, and now it's rearing its ugly head again in the form of an actual complaint that's been made public via the media. This column was written and back in 2022, 2023, and it comes from the Chicago Tribune. Now, it says, Dalton disciplined union head who asked about money missing from his pension account, the complaint says. A union representing Dalton firefighters has accused Dalton officials of illegally disciplining the group's president after he raised questions about funds missing from a pension account. The dispute raises fresh concerns about how the administration of Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard is handling money and treating employees, perceived as insufficiently loyal. Henyard also serves in a $277,000 a year post as supervisor of Thornton Township, where she recently fired nearly a dozen employees. Attorney Susan Mata filed a complaint with the Illinois Labor Relations Board on behalf of the Dalton Professional Firefighters Association, Local 3766, of the International Association of Firefighters. The complaint accuses Dalton officials of engaging in unfair labor practices regarding David Duval, a captain with the Dalton Fire Department and president of the local 3766 IAFF. Quote, the village threatened union president David Duval with discipline, placed him on a paid administrative leave pending investigation, and subjected Duval to threatening and hostile behavior, according to the complaint. The complaint accuses the village officials of alleged coercion, interference, and retaliation that infringed Duval's rights as a union member. Here's a quote. The village's conduct made Duval's job security feel threatened, close quote, according to the complaint that continues with such conduct toward the union president also chills other employees in the exercise of their rights, close quote. Trustee Jason House, one of the five Dalton Village board members who sought transparency and accountability from Henyard's administration amid concerns about unauthorized spending and volatile personnel management, provided a copy of the complaint. Quote, the union has certain protections, and there is a specific process by which a union member should be disciplined, House said. House also provided a copy of the letter Dalton Fire Chief Stephen McCain sent to Duvall on January 17th, notifying him that he was being placed on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of an investigation. Quote, the village of Dalton's fire department has opened an investigation regarding a series of alleged inappropriate email that you sent to various village officials, McCain wrote. Effective immediate, you are relieved of all job duties and responsibilities, close quote. McCain ordered Duval to immediately return any fire department identification, keys, and electronic equipment. House also provided a printed copy of the emails that Duval sent December 30th and January 11th to Henyard, McCain, Village Administrator Keith Freeman, Director of Administrative Services Janice Johnson, and others regarding money withheld from his paychecks that should have been deposited into a pension account known as a 457 plan. The village pays employees every two weeks or 26 times a year. On December 30th, Duvall questioned why only half of the money withheld from his paychecks was deposited into the pension account. He said, quote, I know there have been problems with Nationwide in the past, so either this is on them or the village, but there should be 26 deposits in the 457 plan, Duvall wrote. He continues, I know that the last one will not be in there, so there should be at least 25 deposits for year 2022. As you can see from the table below, there are only 12 deposits, Duvall wrote. He continues with, I am missing 13 deposits. That's $3,900, close quote. Duvall politely requested an explanation and thanked the officials for their attention to the matter. 
Nearly two weeks later, he followed up with another email. Quote, I still haven't heard anything from anyone in the village regarding this matter, he wrote. Can someone please advise what is going on and when the money will be deposited? Missing 13 deposits for year 2022 is unacceptable and could be considered theft of wages, closed quote. Howe said Duvall was obliged to inquire not only for himself, but on behalf of all members of the union representing Dalton firefighters. It was not immediately clear if other employees had also experienced discrepancies regarding pension fund payments. Here's another quote. This is money that is being taken directly from their paychecks, Hal said. These are wages that they've earned. That money should go directly into the retirement plan uninterrupted. In this case, it appears there has been some interruption, close quote. Henyard and the Dalton board majority of five trustees have repeatedly clashed in public meetings and courtrooms over authorization to sign checks handle funds, and payments to various vendors and employees. Henyard's administrations have hired and fired numerous people in non-union positions at both the village and township. Her hiring of a man convicted of a sex offense and refusal to conduct criminal background checks of other prospective employees triggered the, prolong the prolonged standoff between Henyard and the board majority. Critics have accused Henyard of commingling funds, expenses, and activities among the township and the village. Some people disciplined and ha fired have had impeccable professional re reputations. Duvall, for example, holds a master's degree in public safety administration, according to his LinkedIn profile. Quote, it illustrates how people get terminated and disciplined for just doing their jobs, House said. He continues, but if they don't do it in the manner that she sees fit, it will lead to consequences. I think this is more of a message than anything else, close quote. Henyard appears to have escaped meaningful consequences thus far for her unprofessional and reckless treatment of distinguished public service employees at the township recently fired employees, said they were told their positions were being eliminated due to financial hardships. However, at the same time, the township posted openings for a dozen of new jobs, job titles listed on the township website linked to an application. Quote, Thornton Township is an at-will employer and reserves the right to terminate employment at any time for any reason, close quote. This states on the very first line of the application. That may be true for non-union positions. However, union positions offer protections from the random whims of tyrants corrupted by power. The consequences for violating union members' rights can be serious and costly. Henyard and Freeman did not respond to a request for comment. The Labor Relations Board complaint names Freeman, McCain, Johnson, and other village officials and employees as individuals involved in the alleged practices. House says, quote, when Mr. Duvall, the president of the union, is asking questions about it, instead of giving him answers, he's put on administrative leave for just bringing it to everybody's attention. If you make any statements publicly or if you inform anyone of information the mayor does not want you to, then the repercussions will be swift, he says. Now, that is from, again, the article is from the uh, Chronicle there. And uh, we're going to now take a glance or a great look at what's going on in the news because this situation has not just hit this uh, article from back in 2023, but there's also a most recent post from NBC News. Let's take a look at this. This is an NBC5 News exclusive. They put their lives on the line when people need help, but some firefighters in a South Suburban community are raising concerns about the money that is supposed to be spent on their retirement and health care benefits. 
NBC5's Regina Waldrop spoke with one firefighter in Dalton who's now demanding answers. The ongoing saga in Dalton now spilling over into the fire department. But when the mayor first started the run in 2021, we did endorse her. Um, and then everything went sideways. Adam Farrick has been a firefighter in the village for 10 years. He's also union rep for Local 3766. We have a ton of concerns. Uh, Most revolve around financial issues. These are some of the grievances the union has filed against the village. Farrick claims many of the village's 21 firefighters don't want to speak out for fear of retaliation. And there's always that scare of retaliation of what's going to happen if, if you know, we don't beat to their drum. Farrick claims money taken out of their checks for retirement plan not going where it should. I pick uh, the amount that I would like with taken out of my check, and then that money is supposed to go to Nationwide. It has not been happening. He also claims firefighters are having issues with health insurance, which the village pays for. These are some of the documents shared with NBC5 that say premiums have not been received. Members are getting claims denied, and we did file agreements over that as well. Trustee Brittany Norwood tells us these issues are very concerning. It's very sad. Um, it's sad because for the last three years, um, my colleagues on the board and I have been questioning how the money is being spent. We've been fighting for transparency so that we can have the answers to these financials. Firefighters say they've been working without a contract going on five years, and they claim the village is refusing to sit down and negotiate. We all come here because we, we love this place. But you just wish. I, I wish that the upper administration could get it together and do the right thing. The Henyard administration did not respond to our requests for a statement. In Dalton, I'm Regina Waldron. Now, that was from NBC5 there in Chicago. So we don't own the rights to that, but it does tie in with the commentary that we're doing today as it relates to some of the quote unquote illegal, alleged illegal practices taking place there in Dalton with regards to the pension. And now we see also allegedly the medical benefits that are being taken out of these individuals' paychecks every single month. So what I want you guys to do is to let me know what you think. Do you think that there is a real situation there or maybe there's just an error that can later be explained? And then I want to know if it is an error that can be explained, why haven't they explained it? Hmm. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief. The Lockhart Perspective.